Candace had some things that I wanted to chit chat about in regards to this Beverly Hills Aspen Kathy Hill in Billy situation. So if you like care, here we go. I have my notebook. I have my notebook. And so number one, I want to start off with this story feels forced. I, I don't I, listen. I'm not here to judge anybody's trauma, nor am I qualified to like rank it on a scale. But this doesn't feel like trauma. This feels like Billy acting, you know? When EJ was talking to Garcelle and talking about dropping past the old house, ah, 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 she said, <clears throat> at the end of the day, it's not mine. And I just felt like now you're now you're getting it. Now you are with us. And it is with that same energy that we wanted you to go ahead on and put them earrings in a safety deposit box or something. EJ wanted a heads up from Garcelle about the story breaking. And my question is, when the Tom Girardi stuff was breaking, did EJ give the group a heads up? That this story was going to be coming out because like see what Sutton said about guilty by association see that reference note number three I cannot get over the fact that Kathy Hilton's version of the story and Billy's version of the story are totally different now I am aware that I am working with two people who are versed in media okay Billy know how to spin a story KH know how to spin a story I'm clear on that how never okay it's two it's it, 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 mm, you know three sides to a story yours mine and what actually happened but there is so much space in between the what actually happened part i just mm. point number four and it's a question um if that man was stealing that money from them victims and you didn't have anything to do with it why are we fighting so hard for our past life and our name like see me personally baby i'm dropping Girardi, i'm dropping jane i am here on known out as erica like i'm rebranding i don't want any of that i don't want any association if my story is true that i didn't have anything to do with it so it's like the constant fight for my name and my like why why fight so hard point five we're gonna have to see point three remember we talked about in point three the variations in the stories but also know where there is and variations when you talk to Billy, EJ, and DJ. All three of those stories are very, very similar. At the end of it, EJ said, nobody protected me. And my final question is, protected you from what, Miss Man? Baby girl, what did you need protection from? Hmm? Anything you want to share? Like, what's tea? Who, who should have been protected? you and why should they have been protecting you was it that lawyer who was paying your lawyer bills like he's protecting you and like what more